Hey guys, welcome back. This week I was asked to participate in a collaboration for Taylor Swift's video, Bad Blood. And so this is my look for that collaboration. I chose to do Gigi Hadid's character, Slay Z. So this was the look I came up with. If you want to see what the other girls came up with for almost every single character in that video, check down below in the description box. I will link all of them. Also, if you want to check me out on other social media, I am WinSnapArts everywhere on the internet, so that's how you can find me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out everybody else's video. Check out Taylor Swift's music video for Bad Blood. And let's get started. I already have my foundation on, so to start, I'm applying a contour. I'm applying this in a little different way than I normally would to try to simulate the shape of Gigi Hadid's face. To do this, I'm applying my contour in a triangle under my cheekbones a little higher than I normally would and I'm bringing my forehead contour in farther than I normally would. I'm also applying this color under my jawbone, just sweeping it on there quickly. Gigi is also quite a bit tanner than I naturally am, so I'm sweeping on a bronzer over that contour to warm up my face. I'm using a clean, fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. Another difference between Gigi's face and my face is that her nose is a lot more slender and shorter than mine is. So I'm applying a contour shade down the sides of my nose and also right underneath my nose to sort of shorten it up. This will help my nose look a little bit more similar to hers. Of course, I'm not gonna get a nose job for a makeup look, so it's not perfect, but it will help a little bit with the look. Now I'm applying a matte highlight to every high point of my face except the tip of my nose. Now I'm going back in with an illuminator and applying that on the tops of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Lazy doesn't wear too much blush, so I'm just applying a nude shimmery shade to my cheeks. On to the eyes. I'm starting by sweeping a light taupe shade just into my crease. This is going to end up being a transitional shade for the darker colors we'll use later. I'm also building this up into a wing on the outer corner of my eye. I wanted this look to have a really nice gradient to it, so I'm applying a smoky gray color just in the same area that I applied the taupe, except I'm not blending it out as far. I still want to see that lighter color underneath. I'm repeating the same step with a black eyeshadow. I also made sure to keep all of these eye colors matte because I thought that would look really nice. I'm also taking this black onto the inner corner to round my eyes out even more.
Once I have that as dark as I like it, I'm taking more of the taupe color and just using this to soften all of the edges. I'm also going to blend this under my eye to start creating the same gradient on the lower lash line. With a pointed brush, I'm going in and placing the black shadow on my lash line before blending it out with a fluffy brush. You also want to be sure to connect this line to the wing that you made earlier. Now using a very fine artist brush, I'm going in and creating that inner wing that Gigi has on her eyes in this video. Using that same matte shadow, darken this up a little bit. Be sure to blend, 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 blend like crazy. Now I'm filling in that inner wing with a silver eyeshadow base. Next, I'm going to pat a little bit of a silver shadow on top of that. I noticed Gigi has a little bit of a blue hue to it, and I couldn't decide whether it was the effect of the video or if it was actually in her makeup. So I decided, what the heck, and I threw it under my eye anyway because I thought it looked cool. Next, I'm applying a warm coppery color onto the lid. The girls in the video were walking out in a blazing fire, so I thought this would be a cool effect on the eyes. Taking more of that blue, I'm using a blue gel liner on a fine artist brush to put that in my waterline. Next, I'm going to set that with NYX's Primal Pigment in hot blue. On to the liner. I'm keeping it pretty simple on the upper lid because one, I couldn't really see it too well in the video, and two, we're gonna throw on lashes anyway, so it's just gonna get covered up. I'm also following our eyeshadow shape to create a slight wing. Next, I'm gonna outline this silver wing that we created on the inner corner. This is where you really want your lines to be very, very clean. Slazy actually has two wings on her inner corners, the larger silver one and then a smaller one just over her tear duct. Next, I just want to smudge out where the liquid liner meets the shadow. Since we want to wear falsies, we, of course, need to prep our eyelashes. I'm starting by curling my eyelashes, not once, but twice to get them extra curly for them lashes. Next, you can make some crazy eyes and apply a couple coats of your favorite mascara. I'm also applying this a little heavier on my lower lashes than I normally would because I really want those to stand out. If you get any mascara transfer onto your face like I just did, use your foundation on a beauty blender to smudge it away. Now our eyes are finished. Slazy's brows have a very rounded beginning, so I'm starting by doing that and filling the rest of mine in. She has a pretty rounded brow, so I'm trying to create that shape. Except if right after her arch, her tail goes down almost immediately. So, I'm trying to do that on my face as well.
Once I like the shape that I've created, I'm brushing through it with a spoolie. This will help soften it and feather out the edges. Now to start on the lips. I've already applied a coat of foundation over them to block out my natural color. Now I'm going in with a pinky nude lip stain, just to give a little bit of a natural color back into that concealer color. I'm blending this out with my finger just to make sure these colors blend nicely. Next, I'm patting that same taupe shadow that I used in my crease on because I thought the pink was a little too bright. Finally, to add a bit of shimmer, I'm going in with a gold eyeshadow and just patting that on with my fingertip. And that's it. You're all done. Ready to go kick some butt. Cause baby, now we've got bad blood. You know what used to be bad love. So take a look what you've done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out everybody else that I did this collaboration with. I'll have their links on screen and in the description box so you can click and go see what they did. They came up with some really awesome looks, so be sure to give them some thumbs up.